एवरीवन इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी ऑर्फन प्रोसेस सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक व्हाट इज एन ऑर्फन प्रोसेस एंड हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द ऑर्फन प्रोसेस सो इन यूनिक्स बेस्ड और लिनक्स बेस्ड सिस्टम्स और यू कैन कंसीडर फॉर दैट मोमेंट विंडोज बेस्ड ऑल्सो प्रोसेसेस आर maintained in a kind of hierarchical order so initially a process has been created when the system we boot okay so let's say getty process or init process the initial mother process will be created in the system and that process will be having some very initial process id let's say one okay right now after this n number of other processes may be initiated so let's say this process may initiate some other child process by using fox system call which we have already discussed right and this will continue its execution so this process i'm saying this is process which is having id 1 and this is another child process maybe by calling fox process it has been created okay so this is let's say having process id 2 now further also this process 1 may create another child process 2 may also create some child so ultimately there will be a hierarchical structure okay so if i assume that this second process is also calling a fox this will also generate a child process like this right here process Two is executing. So we assume that this is process ID two, and this is a newly created child which is having process ID three, right? If I call another fork here by process one, there may be another child process. So in that manner, the overall hierarchy you can visualize. Now, if I print the parent process ID of this inside this process three, so if by using get pp id let's say if we print the parent process id of 3 the parent process id of process 3 will be 2 right and the process id if we print let's say for this if we print get p id so through this system call if we print the p id p id of this process is 3 so the meaning is for process 3 the parent is 2 similarly with the help of these two system calls if we print the parent process id of 2 it will be 1 and so on right now what is the orphan process a process which is executing but the the parent of that process has been terminated such kind of processes we consider as orphan processes like in real life also a child is there but the parent has died so the child become orphan right so in case let's say process 3 is executing till a particular moment so let's say that 3 is executing continuously but the process 2 has been terminated here so the process 2 has been terminated so i'm writing here let's say terminated okay So if process two has been terminated, this process three, which is executing, it will become orphaned in the system, right? So what will happen? As I told you, when the process three was executing, its parent ID was two, but if this two has been terminated, there are generally two methods in theor theory class or CSC three one six we will discuss. One is the option is cascading termination, or another option is we replace this process id and we make this process as the parent of this process so like in hindi we say that jiska koi nahi uska upar wala hota right so the mother process will become the parent for every orphan process in the system right so let's see this particular scenario in programming okay so let's see uh i have already written a uh, code so if i open like 
Now let's see the code. I'm trying to create two processes or you can say one my program will become a process and I'm calling POC system call. So I'm creating another process. So what is happening is try to understand this particular code in this. I'm using fork and the return value of fork I'm storing in child underscore PID. So child underscore PID is a variable which is of PID underscore T type. Okay. We have already discussed in the previous session. Okay. So the fork will return possibly two values. One, it will return zero. Another, it will return greater than zero value. If fork will not work fine, then it will return any other value. So that means we consider there is an error. Okay. So if fork is greater than greater than zero, that means this particular block of code will be executed by the parent process. And the parent process is my program itself. Right. But if fork returns, let's say zero, that means it is a child process. So this particular block, which I have written inside else if, it will be executed by the child process. What exactly we want is, we want this child process which is executing this particular block of code should be executed later point in time when this parent process has been already terminated. And then we can say this executing process has become or running as an orphan process, right? And this else part I have written to check whether there's an error or not. In case this if part and else if part has not been executed, that means there was an error and this error message will be printed. Okay. So let me print the process ID. So if I want to print the process the parent process and and I am including with PID. So I am writing here PID and this PID I am trying to print with PID and the PID will be printed here with the help of get PID function. Okay. So I am writing get PID. Okay. So this will be the PID of parent, right? Now inside the child, I'm going to display the similar kind of message. The child process is running. With PID. And that PID is. We can get with the help of get PID function. Oh, sorry. Okay. So we will get get PID function. And along with get PID, I'm also taking get PPID. Okay. With PID and with PID this and PPID that is also I'm printing okay right so this will give me the process ID and the parent process ID of the running process right now what I'm doing here is I'm applying sleep of 10 seconds and after 10 seconds Obviously, because the parent was not having much of the code to execute, parent process was executing only one line, printf and this line. Parent will terminate because parent will not wait for 10 seconds when the child is in sleeping state. So after 10 seconds, the child will become orphan, right? So, and then if I print this particular line, the child is done. And let's say, the child process and I am printing here PID of child again and PPID. So let's check after ten millisecond what will happen. So this message will guide us. So I am printing here get 
PID function I'm using to print the process ID and get PPID here to print the parent process ID. Okay. So now we can save it. Now we can compile it using GCC. It is working fine. There's no error. And we know that GCC creates a dot out file. So you execute a dot out. Now look at here. The parent process with PID is this is exiting. So parent has been exited. The child with this and PPID is 6352. 6352 was the ID of parent process. Okay. So it has been already executed. But after 10 millisec uh, 10 seconds, when this line has been printed, you check PPID has been modified. Okay. So 2433. So this parent process IDs has been modified, and this 2433 is the process ID of the BAS, this particular screen, the BAS. So what is the scenario here? your terminal that is the bus is calling the parent uh, parent means this particular program which i have written so this process is having id 6352 which is my program and this program is calling a fox so another child is being created with id 6353 6352 has been terminated but 6353 was executing for next 10 milliseconds after 10 milliseconds, the parent process ID has been updated and the parent process ID becomes the ID of the terminal that is the best 2433. So after 10 milliseconds, this process which was having ID 6353 become the orphan process. Okay. So I hope the idea of orphan process creation is clear. I'll provide this code in the link or description. Right. So you can find out. Thank you. I'm closing. See you in the next session.